Hey everybody and welcome to the next episode of Adam and Simon Bullshit Busters. I'm Simon Batchelor. I'm Adam Bastock. And this week we are asking the question, do lead magnets work? So Adam, do you want to just quickly explain what the uh, slightly dubious phrase of lead magnets yeah. is all about? Yes, I would like to go on record and say that I do not like the term lead magnet. However, it is a necessary evil for this episode. Um, so lead magnets are something that attracts leads, hence the magnet side of it. So typically these will be case studies, there will be how-to documents, there will be ebooks maybe, or ebooks in some sort of form yeah. that answer a question that hold value that you can put your email address in and sometimes some other information like business size or location, things like that. And it is essentially a lead for the company but you as a someone putting your email address in will get some value out of it. So there is a transaction happening there where you get value and they get a lead in terms of your details, such as phone number or email address, so they can follow up with you on whatever it might be. Yeah. And so, I think it's worth clarifying that often lead magnets have a really bad reputation because mm. the only lead magnet... So basically, if you don't think lead magnets work, the reason you think that is because you've only seen shit lead magnets. Yeah. So if you've gone onto a website and it's been pushing, download our ebook, download our ebook, download our ebook, and you eventually give in and download an ebook, which turns out to be crap, and then they just bombard you with spam, that's why they have a bad rep. Because essentially, bad marketers got involved and just used them to basically create spam. However, oh. that being said, they do work. And the reason they do work, I can tell you from first-hand experience. So um, a few years ago, we were looking to work on our agency and build some elements of our WordPress website uh, part of our agency. So we found a company that were basically putting out amazing content. We found them on YouTube first. They were just absolutely smashing it with a weekly regular podcast. Imagine that. Imagine the amount of value someone will be giving out. Anyway, what they kept doing is they kept saying, look, if you're running your own agency, we've got this agency blueprint and it basically just works through the little workflow we do. Um, it's free. Just download it. So we went there and we downloaded it. We put our email address in. Anyway, fast forward about six months later, we purchased like a $2,000 course off them. And it was amazing. The value they were giving out was exceptional. And... Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say that was a good one. Another one, for example, I downloaded um, off the back of seeing a LinkedIn post. I saw um, someone put out, I downloaded another, I think it was a checklist maybe, I think it was, something like that. Or even if it was a report, I don't quite remember what it was. But we definitely downloaded this one thing that then told me about this author's book. I read the book and then we did the webinar. And da -da -da. Anyway, it turns out we then spent about £7,000 on training with that company. Yeah. So the route to conversion isn't always quick. So that's why some people think they don't work because it's like, oh, well, 10 people downloaded it and none of them became customers. It's like, well, yeah, but that could take I think, years. I think you, in both those examples you've just given, that's a really good point, is the fact that the lead magnet was the very top of the mm. that uh, tree, essentially. There's a lot more value that came in different formats further down the line. Yes. The magnet was just to get them over the line at that first stage. Where Absolutely. Maybe they're not they're not quite sure, but if you're actually answering their question in quite a succinct and, and useful way, that's enough to get them and, and attract them and bring them mm. and pull them over the line. Reaching yeah. for magnet analogies there, but not really. Well. No, it's good. I mean, but yeah, that, that is exactly why they're a magnet because I've been yeah. watching the content. So content is the key to making a lead magnet work. You can't just put up a landing page and hope that people will download it. You yeah. need to bring people to that landing page. You need to attract them in with great content, with interesting value added content that really shows people that you are the guide you're the person they can trust in order to make them think do you know what i really trust what this person's mm. saying i'm willing to give them my email address on the hunch that they might just spam me but i kind of get the feeling from watching their youtube listening to their podcast reading their website they don't seem like the kind of spam people so i'm going to trust them enough to put my email address in here and then get some value for it so we have a number on our website that we get probably two or three a week just yeah and some of these are old ones that i've even forgotten where the links for these are coming from and people are still downloading i don't know where they find it they're just still downloading something that i made about six months ago and you know we still get emails from people saying this this lead gen's really good you know or this uh guide i got from you is really good 
you know, it, it still converts. And I think that's the thing of like, it is right at the top of that funnel, that process, that journey where you're saying to people, look, just trust us with this. And I promise you, this is going to be worth it. Exactly. I think it's almost like a high effort contact form, but because of your high mm. effort on both sides where you normally have to put a little bit more information in, but you also get quite a bit more out of it. So rather yeah. than just being like a hello, put your email in and maybe you get something good. There's a more defined value mm. that you're going to get out of it. So I think they're very good. Um, but I, in terms of do they work? The answer is yes, but only if you put the effort in to make them good. If you, yes. if you just chuck it up and go, well, we're offering everyone, you know, free cupcakes, uh, give us your email address. Then, I mean, that probably would actually work quite well. But, um, you know, it has to be relevant to the, to the, to the customer yeah. and has to be useful yeah. to them. If you're just doing it with an open field, then um, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, I think, you know, if, 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 if you are thinking, well, should I do it? It's like, well, yes, but you need to, A, you need the content to bring the people to the page. Yeah. Then you need to deliver something of real value that makes the customer go, wow, that little exchange I just made for my name and email or name, email, phone, whatever it is, was totally mm. worth it. This one page, it, it can just be one page of A4 and a PDF. That's changed the way I think about this. Exactly. And it can completely flip someone's thinking and then they'll share it with their business partner, with their team, whatever. And then do you know what? They're going to come back to the site and they're going to want more. But this mm. time they know that they can trust you with that transaction. So rather than it being free, this time it might be 100 quid might be 200 yeah. pounds it might be like well do you know what i i trusted them with the email and they delivered so 100 quid i'm willing to take that punt now because actually for 100 quid why not mm. they delivered once they'll deliver again and even if you get you know 100 to the landing page of which 10 download the guide and you get one person spend 100 quid that's still outperforming any ppc campaign you're going to get because yeah. that person is a warm lead who's ready to buy who understands your value. So I, I, I could go on and often do go on for hours on how this process works. But I think essentially the kind of summary is good lead magnets work when you draw the right people into them. Mm -hmm. If you don't think they work or they're not working for you, it's probably because A, you're not attracting the right people to the page and B, what you're offering just isn't quite enough value. It's not the right fit for your customers. Yeah, agreed. Excellent. That's very good. Okay, well, that brings us neatly to a close um, on the lead magnet question. Uh, thank you very much for listening and watching. If you would like to connect, ask questions, or send us an example of an absolutely amazing lead magnet that you've got given, or a really bad one, uh, or if you'd like to ask us for some uh, for our opinion on your lead magnet, then do join our LinkedIn group. Just search LinkedIn for. Adam and Simon Bullshit Busters and you will find our page and you can connect with us there. So thank you very much for listening and watching and we'll see you next time. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Just drop the job. Adam and Simon's Bullshit Busters.